Welcome to Swag Films. In this video, Instant Karma. USA Road Rage, Bad Drivers, and all of these thrilling moments will be waiting for you to explore. So let's learn how to become a wiser and a safer driver together. Start the journey now. I feel like extreme road rage like this deserves more than a fine, license suspension, or something. Reported to Ramsey County's Sheriff's Department, it happened on NBEI 35E between St. Clair and Grand Lick MN. Driving the wrong way at the worst time on Saturday night in ATF, you slowly turn like the cop isn't in front of you. He had enough time to hop, and he also would have had the time to pull forward out of the way of the reversing. But definitely, it wasn't the white car's fault in any way. And this fender bender really could have been avoided. Happened on NJ Garden State Avenue. The Honda Civic driver did like the other white car cutting him over. And the road rage ends with the police pulling over. Road rage in Kelowna, British Columbia. People seem to have no qualms about considering their car as a combat tool. Luckily, the surrounding vehicles were all moving slow. I saw this guy slowing down as I came around the curve, but he decided to dart out right in front of me. That's what I didn't think of, but I was a little wary anyway, so it's all good. Also, even before the lane change, they were basically splitting the left lane and not staying in the lines. Either drunk or fumbling with their phone. I'm just assuming. It happened in Moscow ID. It is completely subjective when he reverses the car. If no one was in the car at that time, he probably would have ran away successfully. It happened in Beaverton, Oregon. He barely cut someone off without knowing it was a police call. I hope you learned a memorable lesson right now. It is a two-way stop sign for the car that crossed. The camera makes it darker than it seems, but the stop sign is still there. A rare moment of justice on the highway. This happened to multiple times and the Scots Dale live. There are too many careless drivers who think they own the road. I showed him yesterday. Oh! oh my god! The door was completely caved in, and he and his brother were fine. He tried to hit the brakes, but he wasn't quick enough. The other driver was found to be at fault and was silent. This happened on 405 northbound, right after the 605 exit, but the minivan should have slowed down rather than dangerously changing lanes. This driver was driving slow and fast for a few miles, and he or she lost control at that curve. It seemed like he was distracted by something or not alert, and the location was in Indonesia. The car pulled out in front of me while I was driving our 2000 Fry Trial Axle Dump Truck. And somehow, luckily, no contact was made, although I locked up the brakes. Wow. 
I was driving on 101 North near SFO Airport in California. I was about to switch lanes when the truck on my right came in fast. I braked and made it down. If you drop something like your purse, please make sure you do not take your foot off the brake or put it in park before trying to find it. I know what you're doing for one. God damn it! If you run a red light in front of the police, what could happen? As we can see, we're witnessing a red light runner win a prize, rather than giving it to some other driver in the form of a car crash. This is bound to happen when crossing a three-lane road. You shouldn't be allowed to turn left here. Just continue straight and turn left at the next intersection. The Honda in front of them looks to have braked pretty hard, and that paired with their not paying attention probably caused the wheel jerk and overcorrection. If he had known his vision was compromised, he wouldn't have been driving, perhaps due to the influence of drugs. He had to pay a $100 deductible, a careless driving ticket with two points of his license, and a $175 fine. His truck was totaled with $14,000 in damage, and his insurance paid him $20,000. Others say the pickup speeded up, but then the car sped. Trying to beat the truck, the car will likely be mostly at fault for being in the wrong lane instead of backing up. I saw this happening on the 10 freeway eastbound in Almonte, California. I don't really know what this guy was doing. It looked like he was preoccupied with the phone in his hand. Oh! I-64 eastbound at the I-95, I-64, I-195, interchange. My dear brother, before merging into the lane, at least, just look in the goddamn rear view mirrors once. This happened in Alabama. The other person ran the red light. As you can see, the green light is on my side. It happened in southbound traffic entering the grapevine. All the cars on the freeway behind us were already stopping. I was towing the trailer myself, so I didn't want to lose my momentum, which is why I kept going. It occurs at the I-9N exit, the Gothels Bridge. Remember, speeding too fast can easily cause you to lose control of the steering wheel. It happened in Alabama. <laughs> my right is a pillar blocking my view of it, and those cars are blocking his view of me. My car has been repaired with my insurance. Altima was hit while turning left. Be careful when cutting across three lanes in a Rogers to get into your turn. This happened in Rockford, Illinois. Pulled up to an intersection in time to catch a crash. The good thing is, the dash cam helped the police determine who was at fault. Hastily accelerating ahead can put the driver and those around him in danger. Always maintain a safe speed and avoid reckless overtaking. Be aware of your surroundings and always keep a safe distance. I'm not sure if the white car driver had a red light or not. But make sure the intersection is clear between turning, even on a green light. I reckon in fact probably 60 pluses. I find out after this. They didn't hit 60, it was a call. It's collecting down late night for black and dark. Melbourne's 1019. Neither of them had any intention of slowing down even when they saw each other. Slow down at every intersection 
but always remember that cars in the straight lane have the right of way. It is terrible to encounter a drunk guy driving recklessly on the road. Control of the steering wheel is completely lost. Look at that. That is absolutely miserable. The driver of a black Tahoe didn't pay attention to the traffic signals at all, just because he saw that the car next to him turned right. He thought that he also had a green light, but the white car seems to be going too fast. Slow down when entering the intersection even if you have a green light. That's why I never stay near a truck for so long as it could potentially be the blind spot of the truck. Large trucks should install additional mirrors to be able to observe blind spots. Before changing lanes, look for traffic moving behind you. It is not difficult to see a large truck in the background. You underestimated that puddle and overestimated the car's engine system. If you do not know the depth of the puddle, do not risk crossing it. Do not walk next to a truck. It is a blind spot and it is difficult for them to see you. Luckily, no one in the tunnel encountered that drunk guy. If you drive, absolutely do not drink alcohol. You cannot control the speed and the steering wheel when you are not alert enough. When entering an intersection, do not just be wary of whether the traffic of both sides is running the red light or not. You also need to observe the traffic in front to see if there is a risk of a collision or no. If you intend to change lanes, turn on your turn signal early enough to let the car behind you know your direction. Do not forget to look in the rear view mirrors as well to see if there is any vehicle moving in the lane you're about to change to. Got about of road rage. Hopefully, they will receive the punishment they deserve. Because that reckless driving action can endanger those around them. They definitely saw each other. They just thought that maybe the other would stop and give way. Anyway, the person coming out of the turn is at fault because the traffic on the straight lane always has the right of way. That intersection is known as the Devil Corner, perhaps because of many unnecessary collisions. When exiting a turn, only move when ensuring there is no traffic in the straight lane. I was surprised by the second hit of the car with the barrier. It seemed like the barrier was in his blind spot, making it impossible for him to see as he approached. If he had steered the wheel a little to the left, maybe he wouldn't have needed a new windshield. Oh. Based on the situation recorded by the dash cam, it can be seen that the black car 
changed lanes to overtake and was unfortunately hit by a speeding truck. Hopefully, through this incident, everyone will learn to be patient and not risk getting ahead. The slippery wet mud and slightly inclined road towards the gutter, where the causes of the cars collapse, don't overload on a slippery road with bald tires. Adjust your driving speed to suit the weather. Don't drive too fast on a rainy day or slippery roads, especially in the dark. Luckily, the driver survived. Shadows, the pickup truck driver seemed to have no intention of stopping at the yellow light. He didn't even notice the red car's brake lights. When the light is yellow, slow down, and specially focus 100% when driving. Don't rush to move when the green light turns on. Take a few seconds to look left and right, because someone impatient will run the red light and hit you. I don't think he has a driver's license. That speed must have been driven by a drunk man. It is necessary to tighten discipline and increase penalties for reckless drivers like these. Start recording emergency video. Instant karma for drivers who drive recklessly on the highway. Loss of steering control seems to be expected at such driving speeds. Where did he just appear from? It looks like driving too fast leads to loss of steering control. Hopefully, he has learned his lesson after this incident. Do not try to overtake when the situation ahead is unsafe. Make sure you have enough space to overtake. Avoid overtaking at a fast speed and do not forget to honk your horn to notify. There was enough time for both drivers to stop before the collision. They chose not to do it so. One, because they thought the other person would stop. Two, because they weren't focused on driving, so they didn't see each other. So concentration will help you react quickly. Always have that. Remember. Both are not in the right lane. Furthermore, they forget one thing. They must observe before changing lanes or turning. Hopefully, they have learned their own lesson today. Not for the dash cam. I bet the insurance companies would have assumed that the Ford wasn't paying attention and not that the Mercedes had drifted into the lane. Do not forget to look for traffic behind you before changing lanes. No one would risk running a red light in such heavy traffic. They may not be paying attention. Make sure to always drive with concentration to promptly respond to incidents on the road. Impossible to drive at that speed on snowy roads, right? Slow down if you do not want to lose control of the steering wheel completely. Obstinacy never helps you overcome barriers. It just gives your car scratches with multi-digit repair belts. Do not just use unsafe sidewalk shortcuts because you want to save a few seconds.
that would ease a lot of this shit. A lot of these people... The safe distance between them is zero. Even forgetting the traffic ahead, concentrating while driving and keeping a safe distance are the two minimum things to get a driver's license. Do not rush to change lanes when traffic isn't clear yet. Watch carefully, because you are the one cutting off someone else's traffic. I think he didn't deliberate. It was just that the road was too slippery due to the ice, but his action of leaving was irresponsible. If you have made a mistake, even without intention, Please, take responsibility of your actions. Unlike intentionally running a red light, the driver may not be paying attention to the traffic ahead. Avoid letting yourself be distracted even for just a second. The crash was caused by police performing a PIT maneuver that ended the pursuit at 146 miles per hour. Luckily, it didn't cause a collision with any other innocent people. Oh my God. Always check your blind spot before changing lanes. The blind spot is the area not visible through your rear view mirrors and may pose a risk of collision. Consider installing additional mirrors to enhance observation. Considering the time, speed and circumstances, it was most likely caused by a drunk man Call 911 as soon as you see an incident happening. Hopefully, everyone can learn a lesson about driving while not being alert. If the white car driver always paid attention to the traffic ahead and kept a safe distance between vehicles, that incident would have never happened. In particular, never forget to wear a seat belt. It seemed like the wheel slipped due to the slippery road causing him to panic. Do not forget to regularly check the condition of your wheels and replace them before they go bow. Maybe he can't differentiate between the green light and the green arrow. Stay focused while driving, slow down and don't let your guard down at every intersection. The stop sign was ignored. It is too difficult for them to see each other at such a clear intersection. Just take a few seconds to look both ways. All incidents can be avoided. Do you guess that she was using her phone or falling asleep? Whatever the reason, stay focused while driving. Put your phone aside and stay alert. Don't rush to change lanes to escape congestion, or at least use your rear view mirrors and lane change signal before changing lanes. Maintain a safe driving speed because you never know what might appear before your eyes unexpectedly. Luckily, there was no collision with any other vehicle. When you want to turn around, make sure your turn signal are turned on and honk to notify cars that are out of sight. Be especially careful to only turn when there is no risk of a collision. That's the reason I always remind everyone to keep a safe distance. If everyone complies, 
they will have enough time and distance to promptly stop or handle unexpected incidents. Road rage between truck and jeep drivers. Never drive next to a truck. Either slow down or speed up as long as you're not in their blind spot. Just five seconds after leaving the party. That's why I always remind people not to drive while they're drunk. Either rent a car or hire a driver. If you are not mentally alert, you will not be able to control the steering wheel. Driving too fast when entering a curve can easily cause you to lose control of the steering wheel. No matter how hurried you are, slow down. Safety always comes first. Never check the brakes or stop suddenly on the highway. At the very least, just look and make sure that the traffic behind you is clear. No matter how quickly you are in a hurry, you should never overtake the lane of the oncoming traffic. You didn't even know that the traffic situation ahead was quite reckless. He completely forgot the size of the car he was driving. Don't rush to turn if you think the space isn't enough. It is not easy to drive a trailer on a straight road, let alone driving it while drunk. First, make sure to stay alert when driving. Second, maintain speed and drive in a straight lane. Can you see how quickly we should lose control on icy roads? Therefore, in addition to using specialized wheels, drive slowly and do not rush in such road conditions. Surely the driver of the silver car was turning the radio on at a maximum volume. Slow down at every intersection, even when the light is green and don't turn the radio up too loud. Don't rush to turn left without knowing if the lane you're crossing is safe or no. Just because the truck lets you go does not mean the other cars can too. That's why I'm never near a truck. Use the rear view mirror to observe when you want to change lanes. Don't rush. Are white car drivers often this subjective? I have never let my guard down when visibility is so limited, or at least hunk to alert other drivers to your presence. Do not drive too fast on wet roads. It is easy to lose control or become slippery, especially when your wheels no longer have enough friction.
that terrifying collision could only have been the result of a chase. Running away will only bring you worse results. Hopefully, everyone will learn a lesson from this incident. A bad driver will never miss the exit, even if it means taking a risk. Do not rush to change lanes without paying attention to the traffic behind you. No one will be able to avoid that sudden action. The driver of the Dodge Wham 2500 was believed to be drunk and driving on the wrong side of the highway. If the driver with a dash cam kept a safe distance from the vehicle in the front, he would have had enough time to avoid the collision. It doesn't look like he overslipped. Maybe he was using his phone. Please, leave your phone in driving mode. Or if you have an important work that requires using your phone, stop in a safe spot first. The red light was on, while these pedestrians and vehicles on the other side can move safely. So wait patiently until you get to the green light. Just because you turn on your traffic light does not automatically give you the right to proceed. You still have to check that it is safe to do so and especially do not turn from the right lane. This video is a prime example of why insurance companies abandon people. Don't just recklessly change lanes just because you want to reach your destination a little sooner. At least they didn't drag anyone else in their crash. Thank God. It seemed like the Silverado and pickup truck weren't paying attention to the slow moving traffic. One was able to dodge at the last second, but the other couldn't make it in time. Do you understand the importance of keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front and staying focused while driving or no? Come on. There are quite a few people who confuse gas pedal and the brake pedal, and this guy is one of them. Concentrating 100% while driving seems too difficult for many people sometimes. The driver has only been licensed for seven months. Either he lost control when he panicked, or the car's brakes had problems. They calm in all cases to have effective solutions. Moreover, move at a safe speed and regularly check your vehicle's brakes. It is an egg truck. What a waste. Don't drive too fast and don't break suddenly at every turn like this. It's better to slow down slowly when preparing for a turn. If he didn't fall asleep, it was because he was using his phone. When driving, ensure 100% concentration and do not drive an overweight vehicle. Stay as far away from the truck as possible and try to safely warn them that you are around them. Furthermore, an extra vehicle is needed to minimize blind spots for truck drivers. <laughs> he seemed to be wondering why the car behind him was honking so much. Never park your car on curves just to save a few dollars on parking in the parking lot. caught with someone trying to change four lanes in 50 feet so he do not miss out on the exit or at least making sure 
that the traffic is clear, regularly checking the mirrors, using turn signals and check shoulders before changing lanes is essential. Okay, all right, got it. Cool. In and turn left. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, all the way. I'm at the off ramp. I see the backup. You are, oh shit, okay. Are you behind me or in front? The BMW SUV driver crashed into another stopped SUV while he was asleep at the wheel. Anyway, that crash was enough to wake him up to cover the repair bill. Maybe he was busy with his phone, so he accidentally lost control of the car and made that hit. But more worse, he ran away. Just take full responsibility of your goddamn mistakes, bro. It is really hard to tell from this perspective whether if the white truck not stopping in time have caused the four cars to pile up. So concentrate on driving and keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front to have enough time to react when a vehicle suddenly stops. It is possible that one hand is holding the steer wheel and the other is holding the phone, leading to excessive steering, causing loss of control. Anyway, it is lucky he didn't hit anyone else. Do not reverse the car according to your senses. Use the rear view mirror and the reversing camera to make sure you do not hit any objects. Be extra careful when driving expensive luxury cars because you may receive repair bells. With many numbers, remember, when entering a curve, avoid driving too fast, which can easily lead to drifting and loss of steering control. Brakes seems useless in these cases. Slow down on heavily snowed roads and use specialized wheels to minimize slipping. Was the truck driver wrong when he had a green light? I think if a police car wants to run a red light, it needs to turn on its siren. Just a signal light isn't enough. Slow down at each intersection and observe to probably handle unexpected situations. Both blue and red car drivers are overreacting. I think they are people who easily lose their temper. First, focus on driving and keep a safe distance. Second, calmly handle any unexpected problems. Remember, slow down at every turn, maintain your lane discipline, and avoid swivering in traffic. right after the first jam. Should have got out of the car to check the situation. Or at least backed up and steered to the right instead of recklessly passing in an unknown way. The way he repaired the car showed that the recent collision was not an incident. The problem seemed to lie in driving skills. He doesn't love his car at all.
it wasn't difficult for them to see each other. Either the car lights were too bright, or they both thought that the other would give way. Avoiding turning your headlights at every intersection, move slowly and observe the direction of surrounding cars. Turning too quickly on a curve could have caused them to lose control of the steering wheel. Slow down when starting a turn and do not let your tires go bald. I think the driver was holding his phone to take pictures of the rainbow, completely ignoring the existence of the car stopping in front of him. In a way, it is most important to pay attention to the traffic ahead. That's so close, oil spilled on the ramp may have caused the crash. Concentrate on driving to promptly handle the problem like you just did. Is he seriously in such a hurry that he cannot wait another three seconds? Drivers who are impatient should not drive. To ensure safety, please wait patiently for the train to pass. That's why truck drivers need higher skill requirements. If he couldn't turn wide enough for some reason, then shouldn't have made that turn. I think 7 seconds was enough for him to see that the traffic light was red. The phone was probably his only concern at that time. Remember, concentrate on driving and do not let anything distract you while you're driving. Signs that it is time to change your tires. Do not let them go bald when traveling on slippery roads. It can be said that he was lucky to still be able to control the steering wheel. Come on, Pete! Come on! Best is taking to a separate house. Surely the person behind didn't care about the traffic ahead. That sudden collision said it all. He needs to take responsibility for both cars. That drift was the result of driving too fast on a slippery road, causing the driver to lose control of the steering wheel, and the wheels were locked after that. Luckily, the driver with the dash cam was able to avoid it. It is difficult to stop immediately when pressing the brake pedal on such slippery roads. Anyway, slow down and use specialized wheels when traveling on these roads. Stop immediately when the red light is on. Do not try to pass because you think you can run ahead of the person with the green light. At a minimum when driving, obey traffic signals. You need 100% concentration when driving, especially with large trucks, because it'll bring more serious consequences he literally may face having his driver's license revoked. He just walked away from the phone screen after that hit. It can be seen that the driver braked suddenly because he had time to look up at the traffic ahead. Anyways, crashing into the median is better than colliding with another car. Put down your phone and drive seriously. Come on. In moments of confusion, they often forget that their car has brakes. If you don't have enough patience, it's best 
nut to drive. Don't just go in the wrong lane just because you want to be a few seconds faster. Instant karma for the two drivers that ran the red light recklessly. I believe they saw each other but still chose to meet each other that way. Strict penalties are needed for impatient drivers who run red lights like this. Overtaking at high speed without careful consideration of surrounding road and traffic conditions can lead to loss of control. control. So do not rush ahead recklessly. If visibility is obstructed, at least be alert at each intersection. It seemed as if he had forgotten about the existence of car horns. <sighs> is he usually this subjective? When cutting across a lane, make sure there are no cars Move it in that lane, or at least use your horn to let them know of your presence. It is unknown how a caravan could separate itself in this way. Stay safe with cars on the road to have enough time to react to unexpected incidents. Never brake suddenly when you are driving a tractor trailer. Make sure to concentrate on driving and keep a safe distance from other vehicles on the road. I guess he was focusing all of his attention on the phone screen. When driving, do not use your phone. Focus 100% on the traffic ahead. Hey! Who is at fault? Normally, when turning, even though I have turned on the turn signal, I always give way to straight traffic and only turn when I'm sure there is no risk of a collision. Never rush at an intersection. The speed limit is 30 miles per hour, but the speed he was driving seemed double that. This is a memorable lesson about obeying the speed limit on each road section, or at least slowing down when approaching a junction or intersection. <laughs> Completely stopped in time, he just didn't pay attention or didn't want to do so. The truck's brakes suddenly didn't work, combined with a wet slippery slope. Can you calculate the damage figure for this incident? Therefore, the tires, the brakes, need to be checked regularly. That's why I always say to put your phone aside when driving and keep a safe distance from the car in front. I hope he learned the lesson today. He just had a short nap. Remember, always stay alert when driving. Stop taking a nap if drowsiness kicks in was working to try to distort perceptions of reality so that they can continue what they're doing. Right. And, uh, you know, they did a lot of other things we've seen modern industries doing. They, they you know, I mentioned that. What was the truck driver thinking? 
Did he think he had enough time to cross in just a few seconds? Do not recklessly cross the train tracks when the red light is on and the barrier is down. If you feel sleepy, find a safe place to rest. Do not endanger yourself or others by driving when tired. Regaining control of the wheel when you fall asleep is very difficult. It's time for new tires. Only bold tires can slip so easily. Remember, make sure to check and change tires regularly. Always keep a safe distance from large trucks. Thank you so much for joining us on this exciting journey today. Remember to always drive safely and calmly on all routes. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications bell. So you're always staying tuned with any of our upcoming videos. Until then, see you in the next video. Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swike Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can meet a demon star when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning